Mm, pretty much never. Um, I probably, like, at least once a month, I get something. Um, about a few times a year, but not very often. Uh, a couple times a month. As infrequently as possible. As infrequent. Maybe two or three times a year. Uh, and when I do, uh, there'll be an artist that, that I, I like, that I want the music from, and, uh, and I'll go after it. Uh, most, and usually that's it. I like the artist. Uh, I most recently purchased uh, Cat Stevens, who had not put a disc out in maybe 10 years. Uh, prior to that, Moody Blues, I just decided I wanted to listen to the Moody Blues and I think I, I purchased three or four, uh, four or five of their discs, which had been rematted. And then uh, prior to that, there was a blues, uh, I can't remember his name, and I, I, I just went out and bought three or four of his discs. But other than that, people give me music and I have maybe a hundred gigabytes of music and I'm swimming through about 20 gigabytes of reggae right now. A lot of Bob Marley, a lot of Bob Marley reggae. So uh, very infrequently. Digitally. Be I, I normally get the physical copy. Digitally. I buy digitally. Digital. Both, actually both. Single tracks. I buy full albums. Single tracks. Single tracks. Oh, I'm, I'll get the whole album. I'm not going to go after a track because I'm usually going after the artist rather than just a tune. I kind of surf YouTube and stuff like that. I don't know. Sometimes I get on the top charts, but not often. From my friends and the internet and iTunes. Um, a lot of times friends are on the streaming sites. Um, the radio. Uh, where I hear about it. I actually mostly read about it on different jazz sites on the internet, different music sites on the internet. Um, there's something on the internet called news groups which has discussion forums and I hear about music there so mostly internet oh my grandchildren goodness gracious if I didn't have my grandchildren I probably wouldn't know what was going on anywhere so they'll let me know about music but also I uh, I like blues and so I'm just open to uh, there was a, a friend of mine sent me a YouTube video uh, of a, 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 a two-man group called Slam and Sammy and uh, it was a street blues player and so now I'm trying to uh, figure out how to copy the hey can you tell me how to copy YouTube YouTube music onto something else you will good thank you and that's how I get my music <laughs> probably last year November like a year ago, not not this year. Uh, I've never bought an album. Uh, last week. I like the songs. If I like um, most of the songs on it, or if I really like the artist who makes it. Um, if I really like the artist and like the entire album I'll buy it but generally I'll only buy like the select tracks that I like. I buy an album. Um, uh, depends. I like certain musicians. Um, I like certain genres of music. Um, uh, I'm not big into pop music but I do like uh, some Old rock and roll, very little new rock. Um, I love jazz mostly. Uh, reggae, blues, R and B, stuff something old people like me like. <laughs> yeah, Pandora. Uh, all the time, all the time. Not very often, no. My 
do it in my room and the car when I'm running so, a lot of times. Oh, well, I'm listening to, uh, what is it? It begins with a P. Pandora. Uh, Pandora. I'm listening to Pandora right now when you came into the yard. I, that was Pandora. Uh, I listen to Pandora frequently. I listen to XM radio. You can see that streaming music, XM. I, I listen to XM in the car uh, every daily. I mean, that's I have XM in the car, and then I have Pandora in the house. And then I have my iPod for points in between. No. Uh, of course not. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> My mama didn't raise no dummy. <laughs> um, probably because streaming it, you, just, you hear it one time. I don't know if you, if, if I could download it streaming, but if, if you purchase it, you can download it and play it whenever you want and have it forever. So yes, 